Listen, do you mind giving maintenance call? There's a nasty smell on the lift. Head office don't really interfere with me at all. Um, uh, Jennifer uh, might come okay. down once a week. Jen Good. Jennifer Taylor Clark, call her uh, Camilla Parker Bowles. Not to her face, but I mean, not because I'm scared of her. And I've got them off, um, you know, Nobby Burton who comes around with a, a suitcase. Two for a tenner. Yes, please, four. So, mm. okay, meeting with Jennifer Taylor Clark, present. Mm. Right. Shoot. Was there anything that you wanted to add to the agenda? Did no get an agenda. Sorry? Did not get an agenda, no. I did fax you on this morning. Don't think we got a fax, did we, Don? Yeah, we may have. Then why isn't it in my hand? <laughs> because a company runs on efficiency of communication. Are you um, put it in the bin that was a special filing cabinet? <laughs> As a joke, yeah. It's not even my joke, it's my brother's joke, and it's meant to be with bills. It doesn't really work with faxes. So Do you want to have a look at mine? Yeah. Yeah, sure, she, she, she'd say she's the boss, yeah, but... There should be no ego when you're pulling together to do something good, yeah? It's like comic relief, yeah? I'm out here in Africa and I'm seeing the flies and the starvation. And she, if she is the boss, she's in the studio with, uh, you know, Jonathan Ross and Lenny Henry and they've got their suits on. They're doing the bit, they're counting the money. Good luck to them, but their hands are clean while I'm down here in the office with little starving kids. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Since the last meeting, Alan and the board have decided that we can't justify a Swindon branch and a Slough oh. branch. No, OK, no, no, no. go listen, on. Listen, David, don't panic. Should be good. This is it. Go on. No, no listen, David, no, don't... No, 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 no. don't panic. We haven't made don't any... Don't panic. <laughs> yeah. We haven't made any decisions yet. Good. I've spoken to Neil in Swindon. I've told yeah. him the same as you. Yeah. And it's up to either you or him to convince me that your branch could incorporate the other. OK, no problem. This does, well, however, mean... Yeah. That there are going to be redundancies. Oh, I see. Did I no want to hear that, Jenny? Because redundancies are a tragedy always. I wouldn't wish that on Neil's men. I certainly wish it on my men or women. Present company accepted. Is Neil concerned about redundancies? Well, he is, of course, Good. yes. Because I'm very concerned about redundancies. Although I understand if they're absolutely necessary as a businessman, then they have to, does he understand if they're absolutely necessary? Go on. Mm. Can we not talk about redundancies? Well, well, what we have to decide. Too soon or later. Yes, but at the moment, what we have to decide is do you take on Swindon's people at this branch or the other way round? Yeah, we take on theirs. No. <laughs> no. No. You and I don't decide. So I decide. You do decide, but... Yeah, once you've made your case. Based on factors. OK. Is there a time limit on... <coughs> let it go into answer machine? Hi, mate. Not around at the moment, so please leave a massage. I like Doug. It's the Finch. Chris Finch, right. bloody good rep. Yeah, you've got a hang with you, big puff. Ah, oh, that's derogatory. Give that's a, a shame. Hey, you're in with that Jennifer Watson face today, aren't you? Give it one from me, oh. Cheers, big awful, awful man. Stop looking up with David. I wasn't. Can we keep a lid on this for the time being? I, I really don't want to worry people unduly. No. Under this regime, Jenny, this will not leave the office. So what does redundancy actually mean? 